Just giving the old 86 year old cabinet a clean up with some original formula Gojo. Just the outside at this point. We've got to remove the uh, grill cloth to be able to get to the uh, inside and around the grill cutout areas as well. Definitely some battle scars, but uh, I think it's going to be presentable as is. As you guys can see, I've got the power transformer installed back in the receiver. Everything uh, checks good. DC resistance wise, and again, you guys saw the uh, breakdown of the power transformer. One thing I was noticing looking at the schematic itself that I'll put up here in the uh, picture in picture or side by side, whoever did the uh, repair on the receiver initially with the electrolytics and took the uh, cans out. They have both of them tied to chassis ground and you can see that's a mistake for the first cap. Should be tied back to the uh, center tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and power up the receiver on a temporary basis. Yeah, I won't bore you guys with that. And I'm gonna just denote the DC voltage across this capacitor as it's tied in and then I'm going to move it back over here knowing that both of these resistors are uh, out of tolerance as well and this one. It looks like most of them are based on my initial checks. Then I'll get these replaced, get the tie-in point changed and then re-reference the uh, voltage measurements. So guys, after getting the configuration correct and moving that first cap that was attached directly to the chassis ground back to the uh, center tap location just on a uh, temporary basis that's tacked in, I'm looking at about 131 volts more DC. So low B plus was definitely the clue. Plus just looking at how the capacitor was actually tied into the circuit as well. You can see the uh, B plus off the first cap now and the second caps running at about uh, one, let me look at my notes, about 192 and a half or 193 off the second cap. So a much better place. It also reduced the hum that the uh, receiver had as well. So a lot cleaner. You can see I've got the new drive belt installed. And I have not completed an RF alignment. And the only resistors replaced so far are just these three in this area. A lot of uh, work to be done still. And looking at the quality of the repair that was made some time ago, not the best. A lot of the capacitors just tacked in. See if we can get any short wave action here. Yeah, I don't care. You know, the accusations have been made against Matt Gates are serious. Congressman Jordan, Congressman Squeeze, I, I would expect them. So a little short wave action this time of day. Anyway, you can see I don't even have the uh, line cord placed on the uh, receiver. Just uh, got one tacked in. The on-off switch is bypassed. Still got to move, remove the controls here out of the way and uh, do some detailed cleaning. So uh, much work ahead. Just wanted to share the uh, progress at least. The uh, antenna coil, the oscillator coil, uh, the two IFs that I rebuilt, 
got everything in, confirmed the uh, wiring configuration, got the uh, transformer placed back in, and uh, everything seems to be uh, working pretty well. Again, there's uh, definitely many resistors here left to go, and I'll bring you guys uh, back after uh, doing some more with the electrolytic capacitors. I think I am going to mount those back on top and then um, go through again the resistors. I appreciate you guys uh, watching this short update on the Xena 5S 127 from 1937.